Yes, I'm told that we are ready. Everybody, this is the official start of the opening ceremony. Let's give a big wave from everyone. Hello. Yes. First of all, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Let's Do It World Conference for 2021. It's a collaboration, people working together to bring this conference to, to make it all possible. We have the Let's Do It World team who are based in Estonia. We have Let's Do It Germany. We have Let's Do It Indonesia, those three teams working together, collaborating to bring you this conference this year. Of course, it'll be different than previous years. I'm not going to say why. We have decided at the start of this that we're not going to mention that terrible word that we've heard so much about. So let's try and ignore what's happening outside of this conference in the world and focus on all the positivity, all the great energy that's in this group, and just focus on having a good time and learning from each other. Many of you were at the conference last year in Tallinn, Estonia, and how much fun was that? It was on between the 23rd and the 26th of January. We had 260 participants last year, if you remember that. A lot of fun, a lot of laughter, some messing as well, a lot of messing, but that's all good. But it was fantastic. And of course, let's do it. Uh, the World Cleanup Day this year was a lot different than in previous years, but still huge numbers. I'm not going to give them to you now because Heidi is going to speak in a moment's time and she will be giving you some of those numbers, the remarkable numbers. But this year we have 1,200 people registered for this conference. That is amazing. 1,200 people registered, 87 speakers these are great speakers, 87 great speakers and 33 different sessions. So over the next three days, we are going to come together. It's all about learning from each other. It's all about sharing wisdom and information to make the team stronger and catching up, getting to know each other more because we have the party tonight as well. Don't forget that. And we have some surprises in the party. So is everyone in good form? Give me a little thumbs up if you're good. I'll pretend you're all shouting back. Yeah. Oh, it's great. If you see me looking down like this, I'm not ignoring you. I'm looking at all your beautiful faces here on the screen below me. So it's fantastic to see you from all over the world. So we've got some music coming up in a minute. We've got the beautiful lighting of the candle ceremony that we do every year at the conference. Heidi will do that shortly. But for the time being, we have some speakers who are going to open this party up, this uh, conference up officially. And we're starting off with a man who I go way back with because when I first got on board with the World Cleanup Day in 2018, I know I've told the story before, but we were doing the live TV show from Tallinn, Estonia, and there was a volunteer in the room of volunteers. There were people, students taking phone calls and all that. And there was one man sitting there and live on television. I went over to him and I said, oh, what are you doing? He said, I'm a volunteer. I'm doing this, that. And then I said, oh, great. And what do you do when you're not here? And he was the prime minister of Estonia. So embarrassing for me. I thought they would never let me back into the country. But last year he was there again and we had a good laugh because he's a great guy. He is currently a member of parliament in Estonia. He was the prime minister of Estonia between 2016 and 2021. And I think we have him now on the line to uh, give us a welcoming address. So can you please give us a virtual round of applause for Yuri Ratis? Yuri, if you're there, it's over to you. Yes, hello, thank you. I remember also both uh, these years and uh, these these both are very very lovely moments from from me. Thank you. But if I if I could say some words uh, for the beginning, then I very appreciate that. Um, of course, dear members of the World Cleanup Day Network, I'm really proud. I'm really about proud that the future of our our home planet has brought us together again, like like you said before. And what it means, this means that the marathon we started together four years ago to heal the world and make it healthier, cleaner, and of course, also the waste-free, successful continues. Numerous times I have witnessed how ambitious and devoted you have been in implementing the idea. Last year, I personally picked up cigarette butts but, and other trash at the beach area of our capital, Tallinn, with young basketball players and discussed activities in different countries. Every event has convinced me of how effective the World Cleanup Day is in making the participants rethink everyday activities. It is the key to success this marathon we run, together we run. 
Estonian experience says that achieving climate neutrality is only is only 20 percent, 20 percent dependent of the public sector. The rest is up to business, and the basis of all changes are our daily habits. What we are are doing today, what we did to yesterday, and what we will do, what we will do tomorrow. To get forward, we should move from thought to actions. Estonia Reach shows that the main obstacle to need change, it has a lot of us are environmentally aware, but doesn't act in an environmentally responsible way. Another fact is to consider, to consider most of us makes efforts once or a year, but does, doesn't act properly every day. We will finish the marathon successfully if we will stay together and follow our goal. This means that solutions must be found and implemented by, by everyone, politicians, entrepreneurs, science, and all other people. The code is simple, as I learned from my parents, who devoted their entire working life to the environment and now teach to my four children. We do not inherit the hurt from our moms and dads, but we borrow. We borrow it from our daughters and sons. Dear co-thinkers, I thank all of you for contributing time and energy to a better future for all of us. I also will you productive conference and very, very strong health during this COVID pandemic. Thank you. There you go. And by the way, Mr. Rattus, are you in a sauna at the moment? No, no, I am not at the sauna in the moment. It but looks that's like... true. But that's true. The sauna is very, very popular in Estonia. <laughs> yeah. When I saw the wood panels in the background, I thought maybe you were just chilling out in a sauna. But Mr. Rattus, thank you so much for joining us. I know you have a very busy schedule and for your support from day one, because I know that every year you've been there supporting it and it means a great deal deal to the whole organization so thank you very much round of applause thank for you. Mr. Thank Rattus, you. everybody thank you thank you thank you very much and now we're going to keep on moving with our next speaker because we're going to talk to a member of the European Parliament and I want to hand over now to Marion Walsman Marion it is over to you hello dear ladies and gentlemen it's my greatest pleasure to be here today and thank you for giving me the opportunity to hold this opening note on the Let's Do It World Conference, a cause that is very close to my heart. As a mother, as a politician, as an engaged citizen, the future is my daily job, the future of our children, the future of the citizens, and of course, the future of our planet, the house we all share together. My job is to work every day on that and to lead by example, on making sure that the future is a bright one. This can, however, not be possible without a clean planet. We need to find solutions to manage waste. We need to work on an action plan to fight climate change. We need to ensure a sustainable development and keep the world clean and healthy. This is why we are all here today, because we all want to do something about it especially you, the citizens, the spirit of the worldwide movement, the World Cleanup Day is a very inspiring movement that gives us hope. Millions of volunteers in, eight, in 180 countries come together to clean up the planet. It's a success story. This model proves that together we can achieve as much more. World pollution is a challenge that all of us have to tackle. Today, I want to thank all of you for rising up to the occasion and taking action. I'm here today as representative of the European Parliament from the beautiful state of Thuringia and as a patroness of the World Cleanup Day in Germany. Thuringia, the so-called green heart of central Germany, is a historical state with a wonderful nature. The Thuringian forest is one of the most beloved destinations. As people who love and value nature, people of Thuringia welcomed this movement warmly. 
in year 2020, more than 4,000 volunteers joined their forces to clean their hometowns. More than 100 initiatives were organized and more than 70 communes participated. This year we reached more people, we built more awareness. My vision as a patroness of this movement in, journey, in Germany was very clear from the beginning. Everybody needed to be on board with this action. We got in touch with city mayors, with local authorities, with school directors, with teachers, with engaged companies. In my hometown, Erfurt, together with the diving school Yellow Submarine, we cleaned the river Gera and managed in a short period to take out of the river a huge amount of trash and plastic. I'm positive that more people will join us next year in Erfurt and in all Thuringia. The world pollution is a global problem, but we can start by dealing with it locally. The governments, the local authorities, companies, universities, schools, youth, all can play their part. It is important as we all responsibility and contribute. Cleaning the planet is great, not polluting it is even better. Small changes in our lifestyles can make the biggest difference. Avoiding the use of single use products and plastics, buying less wasteful products, recycling properly. The fight is happening on a local level. As a member on the European Parliament, I would love to share with you how this fight looks on a larger, more complex European level. The main framework of this fight against climate is a well-known European Green Deal. You have probably all heard about the main goal, climate neutral by 2050. This will make us the world first ever climate neutral continent. It is an ambitious goal. The road is going to be long. The coasts are going to be high. Not acting is however not an option. What is happening, happening now in the European Parliament? Uh, first thing, uh, the ban of the single use plastics by 2021. This means that EU bans single use plastic cutlery, cotton pots, stoves, and stirrers. Second thing, EU member states will also have new recycling targets. The collection targets uh, for plastic bottles will have to be 90% achieved by 2029. Circular and economy is all about recycling. This will help reduce the plastic waste that currently pollutes our oceans and beaches and rivers. Third thing is the European Climate Pact. Just as the World Cleanup Day, the center of this pact are the citizens. We as European Parliament welcome the initiative of the Commission and underline again the need to involve citizens, civil society, local community and businesses. European citizens really care about the climate action. We as representatives take this very seriously. Surveys show that 93% of the European citizens see this as a serious problem. That is why it is important that European Parliament deal with these worries about the future of our planet and the future of our citizens. The good news is that 90, 93% of Europeans have taken at least one action to tackle climate change. You are definitely part of those, those uh, 93%. In addition, I'm sure that for most of you in this room, it has been more than just one action. It has been more than one day in the year. For many of us, a clean planet is a daily choice. It is choosing to bring a bottle of water with us and not buying single use plastic bottles. It is about deciding to separate our trash in a correct way. It is about respecting the beaches, the woods, the rivers, the parks, where we spend our free time with our loved ones. Lastly, 
I would like to thank the organizers and the volunteers. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for taking action and keep up the good work for those who are taking of joining. That is my call on everyone. Join the world cleanup movement. Chose to do something for the future of our planet now. Not acting is not a choice anymore. A clean world, it is up to all of us. We all can make the difference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marion Walsman, member of the European Parliament. There we go. Round of applause. Thank you, Marion. Thank you so much for your time and for being involved. And I'm sorry about these cheesy sound effects. You're going to hear them, guys, throughout the next couple of days because we have to improvise and we have to make do with what we have. It's going to be fantastic. Now, we, of course, they are in a different country each year. We have been for the World Cleanup Day. It all started in Estonia. This year, it has been hosted live from Munich in Germany. So we are going to say a guten Tag to the mayor of Munich now, Dieter Rieter. Good German name. Dieter, if you're there, the floor is yours. Oh, Dieter is coming in by video message. That's right. At the moment, he is a cone, like you'll see in the street. Die Sie an der digitalen Let's Do It World Conference 2021 teilnehmen. Wie so viele andere derzeit, kann auch diese Konferenz nur digital stattfinden. Aber sie findet statt. Und die Arbeit kann weitergehen. Auch digital können Kooperationen gestärkt und neu geknüpft werden. Können Aufklärungskampagnen entwickelt werden, Ideen ausgetauscht werden. Ideen für eine saubere und müllfreie Umwelt weltweit. Die Abfallsammelaktionen, in Bayern sagt man dazu Ramadama, was so viel heißt wie, wie wir räumen miteinander auf. Diese Aktionen im Rahmen des World Cleanup Day 2020 waren in München ein voller Erfolg. Noch besser, der Münchner Stadtrat hat sich auf meine Initiative hin dem Ziel verpflichtet, München zur Zero Waste City zu machen. Kein leichtes Unterfangen, wie Sie alle wissen. Aber höchste Zeit, es endlich anzugehen. Dazu entwickeln wir eine Circular Economy Strategie, um alle Ressourcen so lange wie möglich im Kreislauf zu halten. Mit dem Ziel, dass am besten gar kein Abfall mehr entsteht. Wir haben auch städtische Kampagnen gefahren, um die Münchnerinnen und Münchner für mehr Umweltschutz zu sensibilisieren. Letztlich braucht es aber eine gemeinsame Kraftanstrengung aller, von Politik, Verwaltung, Wirtschaft und der Gesellschaft insgesamt, damit unsere Vision einer Zero Waste City Wirklichkeit werden kann, muss es gelingen, Abfall im Alltag deutlich stärker zu reduzieren. Durch verantwortungsbewusstes Einkaufsverhalten, durch Optimierung von Produktion und Prozessen in der Wirtschaft. Auch deshalb ist diese Konferenz so wichtig. Ich freue mich auf neue Vorschläge und Ideen. Let's do it, World Conference 2021. Ich wünsche Ihnen allen einen interessanten Austausch und viel Erfolg für diese Konferenz. Herzliche Grüße, Ihr Dieter Reiter. Hey, thank you so much for that. That was Dieter Rieter, the mayor of Munich, who are the hosts of this year's conference. And uh, sticking with the hosts of this year's conference, we're now going to speak to a man who is the conference director and he's the president of Let's Do It Germany. He has been putting in a lot of work to get this all together. And of course, you know, with any conference, there are huge challenges. There are huge obstacles to get around when it's we're all meeting physically. But even over Zoom, there were so many technical challenges and logistics uh, through the system. But it's just uh, all the work has been paying off so far. So let's say hello and hand over now to Holger Holland. Hello, Holger. Hello, everybody. Hi. Yes, um, welcome from Germany and welcome from, yes, let's do it, Germany. I have the pleasure to welcome you as president of the German network, the host of the conference and operator project manager of this yeah, digital platform. Welcome everybody to the yeah, Let's Do It World Conference 2021. This time as a yeah, online conference, but 
I think, yeah, we make a new milestone in our movement. Under the new challenging, yes, everybody knows, we have Corona and all the stuff. Um, the team decided really late last year in October 2020 um, to switch the physical conference who was planned in uh, Munich, Bavaria, uh, to a digital conference. The creation of a new online platform in less than eight weeks was a major challenge for the whole team. It was only possible, so thanks to many supporters around the world who worked together, thanks especially a lot to the Estonian team, to the Indonesian team, and to the German team. Together, all of us are looking forward to different uh, speakers, a lot of them, sessions, and uh, especially the outcomes of this digital conference. Believing strongly in the network and the possible change that this community can initiate. If I started now to say thank you to this and this person and so, I would certainly forgot someone. That is the reason why I say thank you to all of them as one team. You can find all the supporters who make this conference possible, a lot of them, in the section of our website, in the section team. Please have a look and yes, say thank you also to these people. Not often you are able to start a conference by presenting the first results. It's a pleasure that I can share three records with you. First, it's the, yes, it's the first global digital conference, what we did in this movement and what, what we did together. We have much more than 1,000 registrations um, or people or participants have registered to this conference. And in the moment, uh, the registration is still running. Uh, yeah, it's on running, right? Yes, and it's growing really fast. I see it a little bit on the right panel. So the result was achieved uh, thanks to a core team. It was a joint venture between three nations. And so let's say thank you again to the Estonian team, to the Indonesian team, and the German team. All together, it shows how strong our network and we as a community are. Let's start together. Let's do it now. And yeah, I pass the word over to our president, Heidi, and the opening ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear Holger. It was really fantastic speech. And I really like that you said so great words about the mutual collaboration between three nations. So welcome, let's do it world leaders. Welcome, let's do it world teams, honorable guests from uh, public sector, from governmental sector, from different organizations, other NGOs, and our friends. It's really important that we are working together because we need the work together. And I think something which is really mutual and why we all are here is our desire to change the world we have to change the world uh, for being living in their really resilient future, resilient world, which we can inherit to our children and for the future. This is not just the words. I really just want to say that the biggest passion is that we have to work together. We are, we are talking a lot. There are a lot of conferences talking about the climate change and we have to make the work and we have to make the change in the world. But in reality, we have to work in really consistent way. And sometimes it means to work beyond our comfort zone. This is how simple it is to be really, really consistent in our work. Otherwise we cannot achieve anything. And I, I'm happy to serve all these leaders and teams around the world who are able to do exactly this work working out of the comfort zones and doing so remarkable things in the world because they are doers. We need more doers in the world. And we have to work together in this way that there are a lot of different kinds of organizations making alliances 
working together for the same aim. And this is important, collaboration. Open your hearts and open your minds. Open the same way how the Let's Do It are doing. Be part of this conference and I really hope that we can make the change in the world happen. Please enjoy and welcome to the Let's Do It Well conference. And of course, really huge thank you for Let's Do It Germany, for Let's Do It in, in, in Indonesia and Estonian headquarters. And all the leaders in Let's Do It World who are making this conference. Thank you. Eddie, thank you so much as always for your beautiful words. And now to officially open and launch the ceremony as we have done the last few years, Hedy is going to light a candle and this candle will represent the energy that we all have, our spirits all coming together and it will burn throughout the next four days until the closing ceremony on Sunday. So I know in a moment now we are going to have Hedy there with the candle. So Hedy, I'll pass it back over to you. And here we are, which is our old tradition from all the Let's Do It Well conferences, is this simple candle, which is demonstrating the light to the world and also showing the bath. And I hope it will be lightening and giving the warmth to our world to continue our journey for the waste-free world and resilient future. This track is called Move. And it's about losing something really precious as a result of not taking action. Yeah. Look me in the eye and say there's nothing there you can. I swear, I double dare. Must I fight every bone in my body every time you're near? I will not grab you and take you away. For how long can we stay with the long ground? Everything that really sounds from both of our bodies. If it stays the same for too long, it will fade away. I won't wait until the day hey, hey, comes If you don't make my move, I lose you for forever Ain't gonna wait until the day hey, hey. If you don't make my move, I lose you forever Take my hand and say that you don't feel what I feel Cause I see from your eyes that you do and that's not right, even if it feels so You're someone else's pride and I can't let go If it stays the same for too long, it will fade away I won't wait until the day yeah, it comes If you don't make my move, I'll lose you for forever Ain't gonna wait until the day yeah, yeah. If you don't make my move, I'll lose you either way I don't make my move, I love you for good And I feel that we really belong together Until the day I come If you don't make my move I'll lose you for forever Ain't gonna wait until the day If you don't make my move I'll lose you either way Driven by the fear If you don't make my move I'll lose you for good And I feel That we really belong Together
Thank you, and so happy to see so many of you here in the Zoom chat. Nope. Thank you so much for that. That was really beautiful. And just uh, quickly, tell me a little bit more about the song. I know you mentioned it briefly. It's about, is it specifically about the environment? Is that what inspired you or what's the genesis behind the song? Uh, no, in that case, no. It's, it's, about, it's about love uh, for another person. Um, but recently, half of my tracks that I've written are simultaneously about that you can translate that they're about love and also uh, about the about the situation with the world. And it's so fitting for this because it's like the love we have for our planet and not wanting to lose that. And the quality over the Zoom was just, I'm listening to it here on speakers. It sounded really beautiful. And when I looked at the gallery, I saw every girl had their iPhone out pressed right up against it. And people were saying, love, love, love in the comments. So we appreciate your time, Nup. I know you're in demand. Uh, the last time I checked, you had over 50 million streams on Spotify and you're getting more recognition around the world and I know you've helped out and performed for World Cleanup Day before so we appreciate it. So big virtual round of applause for Nup everybody. Let's see those hands. You can't hear it Nup but there's ruptures applause I promise you. So thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you very much Nup. Okay that is it. That it marks the end of the opening ceremony. And now we are going straight into our first session. So now we are really underway, guys. This is the success stories. And this has always been one of the best parts of the conference. 